Good evening, guys. Welcome to Life Apollos. Happy to have you here as always. Uh, one of the most mixed bag episodes we've ever had in terms of headline topics here. Um, some of the best news we've had to share on the channel for a long, long time concerning Amelia Hartford, as well as some other amazing news from across the automotive and supercar YouTube community. But additionally, we do have to talk about the video that was uploaded onto the Savage Garage YouTube channel over the last day or so. Um, the reason why we didn't have a video yesterday is because I was busy talking with the Tillam family and we've got some things to talk about there as well. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be a pretty crazy day, so hold on to your hats. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, welcome to your news of the day. First up tonight, guys, we are starting this episode out with a congratulations I've been waiting a while to say, and that is concerning Amelia Hartford. Fresh off of the incredible news, she's going to be a major star in the upcoming Gran Turismo movie movie uh, right next to David Harbour and Orlando Bloom. But I would say that an equally as impressive announcement is that Amelia Hartford has now hit 1 million subscribers on YouTube. She took to Instagram and YouTube to celebrate the moment by saying, we hit 1 million on YouTube. There was magic in setting the vision and seeing it through. And today we did that together. I'm so thankful for all of you. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all of you. 10 million, here we come. I can say this, guys, uh, I've met a lot of people in the automotive supercar community over the years. Uh, Amelia Hartford is as genuine as they come. Uh, she was with us on Long Tail Rally. Uh, she seems very close to her on-camera persona, if that makes any sense. Um, so get over there, wish her a big congratulations. There are very few channels in the automotive world that ever reach a million subs. So this is definitely something to celebrate. And even though we got some crazier news later today, I wanted to make sure we started off our episode on the right foot. Congratulations, Amelia. I can't wait for the next milestone. All right, guys, let's get into it. Uh, obviously, a lot of you guys have messaged me about the video that was uploaded onto the Savage Garage YouTube channel over the last day or so. Um, now, we typically would have had a video yesterday, uh, but we actually didn't because I was busy talking with the Tillam family directly uh, about a number of things. Now, before I jump into my conversation with the Tillams yesterday, I want to direct everybody to the statement that they released officially through our channel six months ago, saying that the wishes directed toward Jim were stated by Randy to Jim prior to Randy's passing. They were stated at the time that Jim and his relationship with Savage Garage was terminated on March 6, 2022. He was directed again by Randy on March 21st, 2022, not to release any Savage Garage content or likeness of Randy and to remove the Savage Garage brand brand name and logo from his channel. So in a nutshell, uh, it seems like Jim was fired and essentially uh, was directed by Randy uh, prior to his passing not to have anything to do with Savage Garage whatsoever in the future. And after talking to the family yesterday, uh, they basically maintained that absolutely nothing has changed uh, from that initial statement six months ago. We can likely assume based on their statement yesterday to me that the video uploaded to the Savage Garage channel was one 100% against family wishes. Additionally, something I want to make sure I mention to you guys to get you thinking about it, uh, and this is all sort of speculation at this moment, so take it with a grain of salt. Um, I've seen a number of people be like, well, you know, Jimbo obviously owns the Savage Garage intellectual property because he has access to the YouTube channel and the Instagram account currently. Um, I would tell you to seriously think about who might actually own the intellectual property for Savage Garage and what effect that might have on who should or shouldn't have the ability to post on those social media platforms related to Savage Garage. And finally, guys, um, something that uh, I've not been able to reveal until today. Uh, a lot of you guys have messaged me over the past six months or so being like, you know, why aren't you talking about Randy's cause of passing? You know, why, are you, why aren't you talking about it? It should be news. Um, the reason why I haven't been talking about that uh, up until this moment, basically, is because I had a plan to sit down with Randy's wife and his brother-in-law and discuss the exact specifics of everything that went down with Randy's passing. Um, the plan was to release it with Randy's wife on video discussing all the questions that you guys might have had. Unfortunately, uh, Jim preempted the video that we had planned with Randy's wife, and uh, I'm just gonna say this, sort of end the segment here, guys. I strongly assert and maintain maintain that Anna should have been allowed to post her video first 
um, on the Savage Garage channel before Jim decided to post his. Anyway, I'm gonna sort of summarize everything here, guys. Uh, right now, from my conversation with them yesterday, sort of them referring us to the initial statement from six months ago, the family is at complete odds with what Jim is doing on the Savage Garage channel right now. And I'll, and I'll sort of end our segment by saying, I would imagine that the discussion over who owns the IP for Savage Garage and who actually owns that YouTube channel is going to be uh, an, an immense discussion and conversation moving forward. That's just my opinion, uh, but sort of based on all the facts that I have, uh, things that we've been able to talk about, I feel like that's going to be the crux of the issue moving forward. Moving on guys, we're getting back to normal news. Uh, Stradman, brand new video out featuring the Triple F collection, guys. A uh, man offers crazy price to buy my Z06 Corvette. Obviously, Stradman's having an absolute blast with that new Corvette right now. It sounds uh, pretty insane, and yes, there was sort of an insane offer within that video. Uh, obviously, I think most people uh, think he should not be taking any offers for that car right now. The amount of content he can make with it, being one of the first people on YouTube to have a Z06, uh, seems to be worth more than the sort of amount of money that was being offered to him currently, as crazy as that might sound. Um, but let me know what you guys thought about the latest video. What do you think about the Z06? And what do you think of Sophia being on camera in so many videos? Most people absolutely love it, but I'd love to get your perspective as well. Then we got Tavares, guys, back in the saddle. I bought a destroyed supercar for $250 that you've never heard of. I think some of the crazy car fanatics out there have probably heard of this vehicle, um, but it is in some seriously bad shape, but will nevertheless make an entertaining uh, sort of rebuild, remodel, whatever you want to call it. Great to see Tavares uploading so frequently. Now, we missed you, man. It's good to have you back in a more official capacity. Let me know, what do you guys think of the car that he got? I'm a big fan, but I'd love to get your perspective too. A video that we knew was coming from Hoovy's Garage, guys. Everything wrong with my high mileage X Las Vegas rental 911 Turbo. So much is broken. Yes, we always get the everything wrong with whatever hoopty he ends up buying. Um, Hoovy's Garage has been absolutely wrecking it all across YouTube right now in a, in a very positive way. Um, he has become one of the largest automotive YouTubers specifically in the last like year or so, um, averaging well over half a million views for most of his videos, hitting well over a million for a good chunk, and that puts him in rarefied air in the automotive and supercar community. Make sure not to miss out his latest video, and if you've not been watching his content, maybe now is a good time to start up again. And of course, one of our other rising stars in the automotive supercar community, guys, Matt Armstrong, brand new, uh, pretty crazy video coming out. I found a wrecked Rolls Royce Ghost at auction. Leave it to Matt Armstrong to sort of continue pushing the envelope of what might and might not be a build on his channel. Let me know what you guys thought about this video and sort of give me your thoughts on this crazy Rolls Royce that he found. And we're gonna cap it off right there, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Sorry that we had some sort of like serious news to talk about. I didn't really want to talk about it on Thanksgiving, but I feel like it, we just couldn't wait much longer to discuss it. There's no way we could have done a normal video and not talked about the Savage Garage video, so we just sort of had to talk about it, but we tried to slot it in between a, a bunch of other news, super great stuff for Amelia Hartford, awesome stuff for other influencers out there. So I don't like to focus on it, but we just got to talk about it every once in a while. Anyway, have a great Thanksgiving. We'll see you guys later. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. That's all I got. Bye.